Hey everyone, welcome to Rock Kids. Guess what? This is our last Rock Kids of the year. And it's our one that we're gonna talk about Christmas. So you're not gonna wanna go anywhere. So let's sing some songs and then I got a story to tell you. Maybe it's a little bit crazy to believe what I cannot see. Maybe it's a little bit crazy that my best friend is my savior. Maybe it's a little bit crazy that a king gave his life for me. Maybe it's a little bit crazy, but I've heard much stranger. Cause some things you gotta see by faith. Jump up and down, hey, jump up and down, hey. I don't care what people say. Jump up and down, hey, I'm gonna shout it out. I believe in Jesus. My savior, maybe it's a little bit crazy that a king would give his life for me. Maybe it's a little bit crazy, but I've heard much stranger. Cause some things you gotta see by faith. Jump up and down, hey, jump up and down, hey, I don't care what people say. Jump up and down, hey, I'm gonna shout it. Jump up and down, hey, jump up and down, hey, I don't care what people say. Jump up and down, hey, I'm gonna shout it out, I believe in Jesus. Jump up and down, hey, I'm gonna shout it out, I believe in Jesus. Jump up and down, hey, jump up and down, hey, I don't care what people say. Jump up and down, hey, I'm gonna shout it out, I believe in Jesus. Yes, Lord, we do believe in you today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. called Savior? Have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the son. Show me your way. Jesus, you are my best friend and you will always be and nothing will ever change that. Jesus, you are my best friend you will always be, nothing will ever change that. I believe in the one called Savior. I believe he's a risen one. I believe that I'll live forever. I believe that the King will come. Cause I have found this love. And I believe in the Son. Show me your way, Jesus, you are my best friend, and you will always be, and nothing will ever change that, Jesus, you are my best friend, and you will always be, and nothing will ever change that, nothing will ever change that, no, nothing Best friend, and you will always be, 
And nothing will ever change that Jesus, you are my best friend You will always be And nothing will ever change that Yes, we say nothing will change that Lord You will always be our best friend Jesus, you are my best friend you will always be and nothing will ever change that jesus you are my best friend you will always be nothing will ever change that jesus you are my best friend you will always be and nothing will ever change that jesus you are my best friend you will always be and nothing will ever change that. Oh, my goodness, that is so true. He will always be your best friend. In every situation, uh, he's the one, the Bible says, who's closer than a brother. So if you, whatever you're feeling today, whether you're feeling anxious or whether you're feeling excited or happy, just know that he is always there. We're going to do a new song today. It's called Thankful. And, you know, I'll say, Nancy, I know there are times in my life when I'm feeling down or I'm looking at my situation and I, I don't know, I'm looking around, I'm not feeling good about it. But, you know, when I take time to remember all the good things that God has done in my life, it changes me. It changes me from the inside out. Then I have joy and peace. Oh, just so, so important. So let's sing about that today. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. And I want to remember all the things that the Lord has done in my life. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in praise. And I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has. I want to be thankful, I want to be grateful, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands. Say that I love you. I just want to lift my heart in praise. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be thankful. I want to be. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, 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 I want to be. Well, like I said, today is our last one before Christmas. And we just finished talking about watching and praying and the armor of God. But today I thought we would switch gears a little bit and talk about Christmas because Christmas is so fun, isn't it? Christmas is all about Jesus and we get to have treats and we get presents and all kinds of things. So Christmas is awesome. So I wanna read you a Christmas story today. But just before I do that, I want to go back to what we talked about last week about watching and praying because there's someone in the Bible that did some watching and praying and I bet you you never even thought about it and I thought about it because of the Christmas story in Luke chapter 2 there's an old man named Simeon and this guy was a very devout Christian he loved God and he prayed a lot and he watched a lot 
And guess what he was watching for? He was watching for the Messiah. And he got to meet him. Let me read it to you. This is in Luke chapter 2. So if you've got your Bible, <clears throat> excuse me, go to Luke chapter 2. And we want verse 25. And listen to what this says. Because this is really important for Christmas. It says, Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. So that means he loved God a lot. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. So he was praying a lot. And he had God's Holy Spirit with him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he wouldn't die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. So God told him that he wouldn't die until he met the Messiah. And we know the Messiah is Jesus, right? Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When, his par when the parents, Mary and Joseph, brought the child Jesus to do for him what the was the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying... Sovereign Lord, you have, just as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory of your people, Israel. So what that means is Simeon was watching and praying for the Messiah because God had shown him that he wouldn't die until he saw baby Jesus. And so he would go to the temple all the time and he would pray and he would watch. And then one day Mary and Joseph walked in with baby Jesus and something happened in his heart. And he was like, that's the baby. And he went over and picked him up and said, okay, Lord, now I can die in peace because I've seen the Messiah. So if Simeon hadn't watched and prayed, he might have missed the Messiah. So how many things might we miss if we're not watching and praying? So all over the holidays, over the next month, I want you guys to be watching and praying so you don't miss what God has in store for you. Well, today I want to read you something called The Christmas Promise. And this book is all about what happened at Christmas. A long, long time ago, so long that it's hard to imagine, God promised a new king. He wasn't any ordinary king like the ones we see on TV or in books. He would be different. He would be a new king, a rescuing king, a king forever or a forever king. And do you know what? One precious night, God kept his Christmas promise. Would you like to know how he did it? The Christmas story starts with an angel. Whoosh! He came from God to see Mary. The angel had a special message. Mary, you're going to have a baby. We will be, or he will be a special baby. God promises that your baby is going to be king. Not for a little time, but forever and ever and ever. He will be the forever king. Imagine what Mary thought. Mary was going to marry Joseph. So God sent another angel this angel came to see Joseph. The angel had a special message. Mary's going to have a very special baby, the angel said to Joseph. Her baby's going to be king and will rescue his people. He will be a rescuing king. God had promised that the new king would be born in a little city called Bethlehem. And that's where Mary and Joseph went. But Beth Bethlehem was very busy with lots and lots and lots of people. So when the baby was born, he had to sleep in a manger instead of in a bed. All the other mangers in Bethlehem held food for hungry animals to munch. But this manger held a tiny little baby. He was God's special new king. The shepherds in the field had such a surprise. Oh, it was quiet and dark and the sheep were snoozing when whoosh, an angel popped into the sky. Now the sky was bright and the shepherds were so, so scared. But the angel had a special message for them. I wonder what it was. Don't be afraid. I have wonderful good news for you, the angel said. God's chosen king has been born tonight. He's going to rescue his people, just as God promised. He will be a rescuing king. Then lots of lots of other excited angels joined in the celebration. The shepherds were really excited. They went rushing to see the new king. And there he was, lying in a manger, just as the angels had said. So you know what? When the shepherds went to find baby Jesus, they had to watch, didn't they? Because they had to watch for, to find, try and find the stable. 
But when, they weren't the only ones who had heard the good news about the promised new king. Some wise men living far, far away had also been sent a message. It was quiet and dark and they were watching the stars when whoosh, a new star popped into the sky. So what does it say? They were watching, remember, watch and pray. The star had a special message. The wise men knew what it meant. A very special king had been born, the king for all of God's people. The child was the promised new king. The wise men were so excited, they went on a long journey to see this new king. And there he was, just as the star had shown them. Aren't you glad they watched for the star? Everything God had promised came true. There are lots and lots of different kings in the world, but God sent the greatest king of all. He sent a new king, a rescuing king, a forever king. And you know what that king's name is? His name is Jesus. That's right. He's our king. And look, there's some of the stories of Jesus. Isn't that awesome? So that's the story of Christmas. But it shows us that we need to watch and pray. So like I said, over this Christmas season, don't forget to watch and pray. Now listen, if you liked our story today, you need to go and look on our YouTube channel for Storytime with PJ because those are times when I read stories just like this one. So thanks for joining us and we won't see you for a couple weeks because of Christmas holidays, but we'll see you back in January. See you later.